What's good? Y'all know who it is. Y'all know what it is. It's your boy Matthew Shag, driving in beautiful Los Angeles. And welcome to Matthew Shag Unfiltered. Man, it's always good to have somebody who everybody has respect for say the same thing you said. Because then you get to find out who's fake, who's phony, and who's real. Okay? You know how it is. You be at work, man. You'll say something. You'll say something that makes a whole lot of sense and everybody, ah, oh, no, nah, that ain't what it is. And, ah, oh, man, my, oh, you know, man, shoot, how do you know? Ah, oh, man, you know, that's just your opinion. Ah, oh, man, well, yeah, yeah, you just hating. Uh, and then let the manager walk in, let the shift lead walk in, let the, the VP walk in, let the, let the owner walk in, let the CEO walk in and say the same exact thing you said. Oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, the people around you, oh, yeah, 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 I see, I see what you're saying. Oh, yeah, yeah, you right, 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 shoot. Man, oh man, you, you right, man. You, you, you brilliant, man. Oh, and you looking at them like, look at these phony ass people, man. I said the same thing, and now they're running around, kowtowing, bowing down, and and uh, uh, doing it, doing the damn cabbage patch because somebody they respect said. And that's exactly what's going on, man. You got two shacks that said the same thing about Kevin Durant. You had Matthew Shaq, and you had Shaquille O'Neal. But the difference is, one guy, Shaquille O'Neal, okay? So, guess what? He has the same opinion of Kevin Durant that I have, okay? He posted a picture on his Instagram story, and he said, what has KD accomplished? He had a picture of Kevin Durant. I guess Kevin Durant was sitting down, like, on the... He was in his Brooklyn uniform, was sitting down on a, on, on, a, on a court or something. And he basically said, what has Kevin Durant accomplished since leaving Steph Curry? And they had a number one, and it was blank. He had a number two, and it was blank. He had a number three, it was blank. He had a number four. There was no four. It just said exactly. What is a blank? Nothing. Not, that he, not only did he say he didn't do nothing once, he said he hasn't done nothing three times. Since leaving Steph Curry, he said Steph Curry. He didn't mention nobody else. He said Steph. Three blanks. And guess what? Kevin Durant, the guy who has multiple burner accounts, who has admitted that he has burner accounts so he can argue with fans, okay, who just came at Patrick Beverly's neck, who I just posted a video on. I just posted that video. Go back and check that video out. On Patrick Beverly's neck about what he said about CP3 hasn't uttered not one syllable has not not one character not one finger of the twitter finger to shack about what shack said about him dog you know why because he he don't he don't want he don't want them problems dog he don't want them problems with shack man he don't okay he's probably going to try to reach out to shack and back channels but he's definitely not going to say nothing because there's some people who you can't say nothing to and shack is one of them Okay, can't, can't say nothing about Shaq, okay? So here's what I've always said about Kevin Durant, okay? Kevin Durant is without question one of the greatest offensive basketball players, scorers that I have ever seen, man. The dude is seven feet, can pull up from 30. The guy got an unbelievable handle. It's unguardable. His wingspan is like seven, three. Uh, Man, the boy is a bad boy. He might even end up being, after LeBron winds up being the league leading scorer, Kevin Durant has a very good opportunity to break his record and be, you know, maybe hit 40,000 points. The boy is a set, top 75 player, former league MVP, two-time finals MVP. But I always told all my people, all my Dub Nation people, and I'm from the Yay area just in case I need to make it clear, okay? I'm from that area. So I can definitely say what I'm getting ready to say. Don't let this LA beautiful sky up here get you get you out, off your square and get you out of pocket. I know what I'm talking about. Kevin Durant, when he came to Golden State, I told all my Dub Nation family, friends, everybody, including my own brother and my dad who are Dub Nation. I told him, I said, man, Kevin Durant's only coming over here to secure some, secure some hardware. And then he's gonna bounce on you guys, man. Be like a bounce house. He's just gonna bounce the hell out of here. Oh well, no, he ain't. Why would he leave a dynasty? Oh man, he, he man. Why would he want to leave Stephen Clay and and Draymond and, and Steve Kerr? He, he. I was like, watch, because he just bounced on 
Russell Westbrook and OKC after blowing a 3-1 lead. And then he comes over to you guys. You guys are 73 and 9, man. Easy pickings. All he has to do is score. That's all he has to do is do what he always done. You guys do everything else. After he got them two chips, what did he do? He did exactly what I said he was going to do. Not only did he leave to go to Brooklyn, he didn't even have the common courtesy to even hit up Clay, Steph, and especially Steve Kerr or Draymond Green to tell him, hey, man, I made my decision. He just decided to stay in New York, didn't didn't do what he should have did when he left. And you're talking about what LeBron did with the decision. And that's the kind of stuff that you KD apologists are always guilty of. When it's LeBron James, you got a whole uh, lynch mob of people that are join your party. But when it comes to this real, it's keeping it keeping it 100 and keeping it a buck and, 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 and actually putting things like it's supposed to be and putting everybody and keeping everything with the same energy, y'all don't do that. But Shaquille O'Neal made it clear. He hasn't done nothing, okay? He hasn't done a thing. LeBron at least won a ring in the bubble, man. Call it a bu bubble chip. Call it whatever you want to call it. He's got a ring with every team he's ever played for. He delivered them something. KD has not. He's been with one team. He's his third team. And he's never been the alpha dog on any, any team. Just because he scored the most points and he had the easiest job in those NBA finals doesn't mean that he was the alpha dog because Steph was the alpha dog. Okay? There's a whole bunch of alpha dogs on there. Draymond, you know, called him the B word. And he didn't do nothing. I'm like, come on, man. As a brother? You call me that? Man, we may not, we may not uh, be able to, 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 to uh throw them hands, but you definitely gonna understand where I'm coming from. We don't we, when we get in that locker room, it's on and popping, dog. But guess what? Didn't do nothing, dog. Didn't do nothing. So all I'm saying is, man, where's the vitriol for Shaquille O'Neal? I didn't see Skip Bayless say anything. I didn't see Stephen A. Smith say anything. Because they ain't going to say nothing, dog. Because there's some guys out there you can't say nothing to. And Shaq is one of them. Hey, there's two Shaqs. There's me. There's him. We both agree. All right, man. Love all y'all out there, man. Matthew Shaq Unfiltered.